The winter forest lights. Snow was falling over the forest. Two children were bundled up warmly against the cold. We're nearly there, Grandad said. The Wishlight Village. It's such a magical little place. You're going to love it. How do we find the Wishlight Village? The girl asked. Grandad smiled. You know this already. We follow the winter forest lights. But where do the winter forest lights come from? Asked the boy. You know this already too, said Grandad. I've told you the story a dozen times. Tell us again. Oh, all right then. Grandad held their hands as they walked. Long ago, deep in the woods, there lived a lonely light catcher. Luminessa was the only light catcher in the forest. Light catchers normally live in sunny places, like tropical islands or sandy deserts. But Luminessa loved the forest. She spent her days catching light of every kind. Sunbeams, moonbeams, little drops of starlight, swishing them out of the air with a magical net. Luminessa filled her home with lanterns that glowed with every bit of light she caught. The winter months weren't easy for the light catcher, since there was very little light to catch. The sun went to bed early, and the moon and stars stayed hidden behind the clouds. Luminessa overheard the children of the forest telling their parents how glum they felt when the woods were dark. Luminessa felt the same. Then, one winter's night, she saw the strangest light caught in the branches of a sycamore tree. Luminessa had never seen anything like it. The light danced and swirled and twinkled and spun. Luminessa climbed up high with her magical net. Swish! Safe inside one of Luminessa's lanterns, the light continued to dance. It was the happiest, hopefulest glow she had ever seen. She watched it for a long, long time, until at last she cried. <gasps> of course! It's not a sunbeam, or a moonbeam, or a drop of starlight. It's a wish! A child's wish had sprung to light, then floated away and gotten lost. If only that child could have their wish back, Luminessa said. It would light their way on these cold winter nights. Luminessa had no idea who owned the wish, but there was one creature in the forest who might. In the deepest, darkest part of the woods, there lived an owl as old as the forest itself. Beacon was the wisest of all the animals, but not one who was easy to find. Luminessa walked and walked farther and farther into the woods. She clambered through vines and climbed over roots. She searched from high branches and peeked into burrows. Then finally, she heard a strange, spooky call. A pair of yellow eyes shone in the dark. They made Luminessa nervous. Hello, she said. Can you help me? The owl was staring from a hole in the trunk of an ancient oak tree. Doo-hoo! Beacon replied. Doo-hoo! Doo-hoo! Oh, thank you! cried the light catcher, and she held up the lantern. I want to return this wish light, but I don't know which child it belongs to. Doo-hoo! said the owl, taking off into the air. Grabbing the lantern with strong claws, Beacon flew so high and so fast that the wish light looked like a shooting star. 
Luminessa followed the star all the way to a cozy lodge. Beacon hung the lantern on the gate outside, and the sight of it warmed Luminessa's heart. The next night, Luminessa saw another strange light zipping along the ground. It spiralled and curled and dazzled and hopped. Another wish, Luminessa cried. She chased the quick wish light with her magical net. Swish, swish, swish. Into one of Luminessa's lanterns it went, and kind old Beacon carried the wish to the home of the child who owned it. On the way back to her lodge, Luminessa spotted a third wish light. This one sprang and wobbled and shimmered and shook. A fourth wish light whooshed and rippled and sparkled and whirled. Luminessa swished both of them into her net. Then she saw another wish light, and another, and another, and another. Soon there would be enough wishes to light up a path for all the children of the forest. But how would Luminessa catch so many? And where would Beacon hang them all? There were other creatures in the woods that saw the work of the light catcher and the wise old owl. Two little pixies, named Glowbud and Gleam, loved the light that the lanterns brought. The woods are lit up, Glowbud said. It is a lovely thing. Then we should help them, Gleam replied. Make them some pixie string. Pixies can make special string with spider silk and magic. They use it to knit hammocks and nests, or weave it into pretty shapes. Glowbud and Gleam brought some pixie string to Luminessa and Beacon and told them how it worked. We can weave shapes, like diamonds or stripes. Or we can make lines for hanging wish lights. The Lightcatcher and the Owl were happy to have the help of the Pixies. Glowbud and Gleam chased the wish lights into Luminessa's net each night. Then they lined the woodland paths with Pixie string, so Beacon could hang every single wish light. Before long, trails of lanterns filled the woods, bringing hopeful light to everyone during the dark winter months. And now we call them the Winter Forest Lights, Grandad said. Grandad, said the girl, you forgot the bit about the Wish Light Village. Ah, Grandad clapped his hands, so I did. Well, Luminessa and Beacon and Glowbud and Gleam were so grateful to the children for all their wishes that they built a special lodge of light where everyone could come together and celebrate. The Pixies wove shapes in pixie string to make the place beautiful, and there were games and fun things for all the family. And that became the Wishlight Village, asked the boy. It did indeed. Can I make a wish in the Wishlight Village? asked the girl. Of course you can. And can I? said the boy. I hope you do, replied Grandad. Then you'll get to see your very own Wishlight dancing in a lantern and lighting up the woods with all the other winter forest lights. <laughs> <laughs>